And I don't know, man. <laughs> Welcome back to Hybrid Rudiments. Today we're going to be working on Nice and Easy. So the Nice and Easy is made up of a couple different parts, just like any hybrid. Uh, the first part of it, it starts with a Swiss sticking, meaning two, two of one hand and then a single of the next hand. So I'll start on the right hand doing two rights and a single left. The left hands are accented in this. So as you can see, the right hand is low, the two right hands are low, the left hand is up, the Swiss is double and single. Uh, off of that first section is a, is a left hand accent to kind of kick you into the next half of it. So I'll break that down uh, by itself, off of the Swiss. So Swiss, and then a left hand accent following the second left hand of the second Swiss. The last part of it is coming off of that second left hand accent, you've got three right hand strokes and then two left hand strokes. So it's kind of almost like an egg beater sticking um, following the Swiss and single left that, w that I just demonstrated. So the second half looks somewhat like this. Now as you can see, the right hand is not all accented. It starts with an accent, but it decays in height uh, as you play those three strokes. The double left at the end is tap level, or mezzo piano. So when you put those together, you've got your Swiss to start, followed by the left hand accent to turn you around into uh, the triple right into the double left. So let me break down the nice and easy for you. Uh, it's in two parts, so I'll take the first half. I'm going to do a basic uh, triplet hand-to-hand -hand check to start. No accents, no taps, just kind of block sound, one height. And when I get to the actual first part of the rudiment, which is the Swiss part of it, I will do a block sound and block height as well. So no accents, no taps, nothing, just all one height. So now I'll do the same thing, but I'll add in the actual uh, accents that are in, in the rudiment. So that was the front half, now I'll show you the back end of it. And it starts on the left hand, so I'll do an exercise off the left. Okay, as you do that, it's really, really important to stay relaxed and let the sticks bounce. Okay, it is a, it's a stick controlled rudiment, okay, just kind of throwing different stickings around. Um, but it is really, really important that you stay relaxed and use your fingers and let, allow the stick to rebound and bounce off the surface or whatever you're playing on. Um, okay, so that was the back half. Uh, the left hand lead into the triple right hand stroke followed by the two little lefts and the right hand release, which is low if you're playing them in sequence. Now, I've just done those couple exercises to isolate that, that rudiment, the nice and easy. Within the rudiment itself are, are other key components, other basic things that you need to be able to play uh, at a certain level in order to string them together to make the nice and easy. For instance, okay, we already did the Swiss sticking, so that's on there. Um, double beat exercises are huge because you've got that double left hand uh, end of the first half, beginning of the second, second part of it, which ties it together. So double beat is really important. Stuff like that, your basic double beat exercises.
or whatever. Um, just so you can kind of work uh, that double stroke, same, same height um, rebounded stroke that is, goes into the, the turnaround of the uh, ruin itself. Another thing in there, obviously, is the three stroke. So working just regular threes is, is a huge thing, too. Okay, so that goes in there. Also, kind of the last thing in there, just low level double stroke rolls. That's the last little part of it. And honestly, the first little bit of the Swissy, same deal, low doubles. Okay, so anything like that, each component, you've got to be able to play proficiently um, you know, on its own in order to string it together with ease. Nice and easy. There you go. Cool. I mean, I could play it faster. Yeah, you want to play like a bunch of crazy fast? Just do like, uh, yeah.